Life will disprove you just when you believe you've explored and learned everything there is to know about your location. You could believe that nothing in your city, town or state would ever surprise you again, yet unusual occurrences do occasionally occur. We'll look at some of the most fascinating and strange finds made by locals in this video, from the cursed ventriloquist doll to the ghost ship. Here are 15 eerie discoveries that made the townsfolk tremble. Cursed ventriloquist doll It's common to feel secure about the neighborhood in a small town where everyone knows everyone else. Similar to this, you'll be troubled and frightened if you ever discover something strange in your neighborhood, especially if it's a spooky human-sized ventriloquist doll. When they spotted what appeared to be a human body wrapped in a blanket floating in the river in the Mexican little town of San Antonio La Esperanza in the year 2020, the inhabitants were all scared. The find was nonetheless unsettling even when they realized it wasn't a human corpse. When they hoisted it up, they discovered this scary doll. While the other eye is still blue and wide open, one of its eyes is burned and blackened. It seems much eerier due to its damaged appearance. Nobody in the neighborhood understood why the doll was disposed of in such a spooky way, but many people think it was cursed. The townsfolk went to tremendous measures to get rid of the doll because of this. The doll was moist from being submerged in the water for a long period, so burning it took them several tries. The fact that the doll was so difficult to destroy, however, convinced people that it was definitely cursed. Friendly Reptiles Before I show you these videos, let's simply look at how vicious crocodiles are. These creatures can pose a serious threat to people. These animals can walk to pursue you on land and are exceedingly fast over short distances, so there's no way out. As ambush predators, these guys normally don't make their victims aware of them until they have them in their deadly jaws. The first clip is so incredible because of this. In this video, an Indian guy stunned everyone by confidently approaching the crocodiles and feeding them raw meat with his bare hands as if they were harmless pets. At one point, he even gave one of the crocodiles food directly into its mouth after tapping its nose. Now watch this following video to observe a different amiable reptile. A youngster riding an alligator as though it weren't capable of ripping someone apart is unexpected, given that alligators are just as vicious as crocodiles. World War I Bomb Numerous locations throughout the world still have thousands of unexploded bombs from World Wars I and II the majority of which are still prone to detonating and exploding. That's why everyone in the neighborhood was put on high alert when a small child found a grenade on a beach in Northern Ireland. They discovered that the grenade was from World War I, and that it was still a live grenade that may detonate at any time after closer examination. This live grenade was allegedly a mill bomb, one of the original hand grenades widely distributed in Britain in 1915. The grenade was transferred to Crawford Burn National Park, where it was securely exploded in a controlled explosion since, despite its historical history, it was still a potentially dangerous find. Clawed Monster Imagine yourself enjoying a wonderful day at the beach and happily strolling down the sand when you unexpectedly come upon this terrifying beast. Its body has the appearance of a dog without fur, its head resembles a reptile skull, and its tail is rat-like in appearance. You've never seen a monster like it before. Anyone will undoubtedly be shocked and appalled. Consequently, when this image was posted online, everyone in Queensland, Australia was horrified. No one knew what this strange cadaver was when it was discovered on a popular beach in the vicinity. Theories began to flow in, ranging from aliens to a possum with no hair, but nothing was proven. Many people said that it was simply a wallaby that had washed ashore and had the look of a weir after being buried in saline water. However, many remain steadfast in their conviction that the creature that died on Earth was an alien. This is not the only strange object that has washed up on Australian shores, but it is certainly one of the stranger ones. Rat Temple The majority of temples across the world are stocked with holy objects and sculptures, but this one in India is a little different. Rats are not viewed as pets in the Rat Temple, contrary to what its name may imply. On the floor of the temple, thousands of rats may be seen fleeing, here you can see enormous milk saucers that are left open for the rats to drink. Rats aren't considered pests in this culture, rather they are revered as the pious offspring of Karni Mata, who was thought to be an embodiment of the Hindu goddess Durga. According to legend, Karni Mata lived up to 150 years in the 15th century, yet she was still young and attractive when she passed away, and after she passed away, she became a rat. Her followers quickly came to think that after death they too would turn into rats, and after passing away as rats, they would once more become human, and the cycle would keep on. 
The temple's amazing architectural characteristics make up for the fact that it's overrun by rats. If you hate rats, there's no way you'd be able to visit this area, since, first of all, you're often requested to enter the temple barefoot, and contrary to most places, having a rat touch even your toes is considered lucky. Another intriguing claim made by the locals is that the village where this temple is located was unaffected even during the height of the epidemic. Somerton Man You probably already know about the Somerton Man if you enjoy reading about criminal investigations. A case that rocked the entire world, not just the inhabitants in the area of Somerton Beach, south of Adelaide, Australia. Everything began on November 30, 1948. Around 7 o'clock in the morning, a couple was strolling down Somerton Beach when they came upon a man sleeping on the sand. The pair saw him loitering about as they passed by. Then he held out his right arm, letting it fall to the ground as he spotted the pair. The same man was still in the same spot when the couple next spotted him 30 minutes later, but this time the pair dismissed his odd occurrence as nothing more than a drunken man passing out on the beach. They didn't know the man was actually deceased until the next morning. Everyone in the region was of course taken aback by this, but this was only the beginning of the mystery. Heart failure or poisoning was previously thought to be the death's cause. They discovered nothing more in the man's body but a pack of cigarettes, some chewing gum and tickets from Adelaide to the beach. He didn't have any wallet, money or identifying cards with him. The absence of name tags from the man's attire is even more puzzling. Nothing but clothing were in the man's bag when it was discovered. However, some of the garments bore the names Keen or T. Keen. They couldn't find any matches when they looked up the name. They were certain that poisoning was the cause of death after conducting an autopsy. However, additional lab testing revealed that not even a single poisonous molecule had been present. The guy's cause of death was unknown, but who this man was was the more important question. Australians were sent pictures of him, but no one was able to place him. They eventually tried to match the man's fingerprint, but they were unable. When they discovered a piece of paper with the words Tom and should in the man's clothing, which was thought to be a portion of a limited edition book, the situation became even stranger. The dominant idea postulates that the guy may have been a spy, a time traveller, or perhaps a retired soldier employed by the government. Grave under the car park In the city of Leicester, researchers were taken aback in 2012 when they discovered a skeleton directly beneath a parking lot. The fact that the bones were thought to be those of none other than Richard III, however, puzzled them the most. At the Battle of Bosworth in 1485, the king was slain. The monarch was assassinated and when his body was brought to Greyfriars Leicester, he was buried in an unassuming manner. His skeleton was discovered in an odd posture, as if he had simply been dumped into a freshly dug grave in a haste rather than being given a suitable grave in a last resting place suited for a king. The bones were moved and kept beneath a glass floor at Leicester's King Richard III Visitor Centre after being discovered and when it was confirmed that the skeleton was in fact Richard III. Gum Wall Who desires gum? While it's enjoyable to chew these goodies, it can be inconvenient to discover chewed gum in public places. If you're afraid of germs, you'll be frightened when you see Seattle's huge gum wall. You see, this monument is backed with gum that has been chewed by humans since the early 1990s. As opposed to a wall of unchewable gum, imagine the amount of DNA that this entire wall holds. Gum was frequently stuck to the walls in the region as a means of amusement, and soon enough it developed into some strange ritual that quickly coated the walls with gum. The street cleaners originally attempted to maintain the wall's cleanliness, but as more and more people wanted to partake in the strange and gooey custom, they were forced to abandon their efforts. People just put their chewing gum on the walls for more than 20 years, which caused the walls to become a variety of hues. The entire gum wall is around 50 feet long, and there were even sculptures made of gum that were actually just stretch pieces of gum that appear to be trickling down the walls. The Pike Place Market Preservation and Development Authority cleaned the gum wall in November 2015 to preserve it. They worked for 130 hours and during that time they were able to extract around 2,300 pounds of gum. Little did they realize that as soon as the wall was cleaned, people started putting gum on it once more, and today one may even question if the wall was ever cleaned. Many Instagram users found this location to be a vibrant backdrop. However, if you dare, it's encouraged to wash your hands after touching any portion of the gum wall surface. Even in 2009, the gum wall was named the dirtiest and most contaminated attraction in the world, 
Although I enjoy strange tourist attractions, I'll probably pass on this one. Snake in the Toilet Alright, be truthful, everyone has unreasonable worries, and sometimes some of you are afraid of finding a snake in the bathroom. However, for some individuals throughout the world, this is more than simply an unfounded worry. A lady in Colorado who discovered a snake in the toilet of her apartment was terrified. When she tried to flush and nothing went in, the woman stated that the toilet was blocked. She was astonished to discover a snake head in the toilet where she leaned in to check what caused the obstruction. To assist her to get rid of the unpleasant visitor, she immediately summoned her boyfriend and the apartment's maintenance staff. The woman experienced a fear of a lifetime as it took over 40 minutes to remove a four-foot snake from the toilet. She thought that the snake was a pet that belonged to one of the inhabitants of the flat and that it could have escaped and slithered into the toilet. Wild Boar in the Restaurant Although some restaurants sell live fish, nobody expects a wild boar to go on a rampage when they're inside a restaurant eating. This restaurant in Wejonbu, LG, South Korea was the subject of a wild boar attack in this CCTV film from the establishment. The eatery served pig spine soup. The animal just burst through the restaurant's doors, running riot and frightening every customer. Fortunately, it was already late at night, and there weren't many customers or employees remaining in the establishment. Unknown Monster What do you see the object to be in this picture? Sincerely, I'm not very knowledgeable in these kinds of things. The camera from the Texas Zoo in Amarillo took this picture. It depicts an odd being standing in front of a barbed fence. It would be simple to assume that this is merely an altered image of a cartoon character if it weren't placed at the zoo. The unidentified animal's head appears to be that of a wolf, and it's simply standing on its two hind paws. There are several hypotheses as to what this monster is. Some claim it's a werewolf, others assert it's a skinwalker or simply a raccoon. What do you think? Let me know your theories in the comments below. Ancient Clam the Leo Concha hieroglyphica is a kind of saltwater clam that resembles a clam with cuneiform or hieroglyphic writing engraved on its shell. When one of these clams was discovered, many people all around the world believed that it was a clam with ancient writing carved on its shell. The beaches of Hawaii, the Philippines, and the Marshall Islands are where you may find this species. If you ever come across one, looking at its shell is very remarkable. It's understandable why many believe this clam to be an old one given how well its markings resemble ancient writing systems. Deep Sea Creature Washed Ashore Locals in South Leyte, Philippines were all taken aback in 2017 when enormous marine animals known as oarfish landed ashore. Oarfish are enormous, elongated fish that may reach lengths of up to 26 feet. We don't encounter these species very often, despite the fact that they were initially documented in 1772. These animals may be found in deep seas up to 3,300 feet deep. The people instantly began to make preparations for an approaching tragedy when these oarfish that resembled serpents washed up on shore. The two enormous beasts, which measured an astounding 12 and 14 feet in length, were discovered dead. For the people, their discovery was important that an impending earthquake would shake the nation. One day after the oarfish was discovered, the nation unsurprisingly experienced an earthquake with a magnitude of 6.6. Could these critters actually forecast when an earthquake will occur, or was it simply a coincidence? Ghost Ship Seeing a ship that is around 600 feet long sailing over the water without any people on board is unsettling. Therefore, when this ship was discovered to be empty of all human life, the residents and authorities in the region initiated an instant investigation. The coast of Myanmar was where this lone ship was discovered. There were no crew or cargo on board when it was discovered. It looked as though everyone on board the ship simply vanished. It was found by a neighborhood fisherman 11 kilometers south of Yangon. Many hypotheses were quickly inspired by the ghost ship as it was hauntingly floating in the water. Of course, alien activity was the foundation of the notion. Some people believe that the crew of the ship departed because of the poor weather, but others suggested a more rational explanation. However, even in that scenario, it was improbable that they would depart the ship without anybody being aware of the occurrence. It wasn't until they learned that the ship was being pulled by a tugboat toward a plant in Bangladesh to be demolished that the hypotheses about the enigmatic ghost ship started to seem more and more ridiculous. However, the boat's lines broke due to the terrible weather, forcing all of the crew members to leave the ship. Which of these videos caught your attention the most? Additionally, do you have a unique and fascinating finding to share? Please provide details in the comment section.
Check out some of our other awesome content that's now appearing on the screen, and we'll see you in the next video. Be careful, everyone.